Hello guys, welcome to uh, eighth lecture on Android app development. In this lecture, uh, I'll teach you how to make a seminar and display the list of the various items in that. So let's get started with the designing part. I'll not simply mention the seminar here. I'll use a linear layout. I will put the text inside it, which will um, show us the name of the seminar. So let's start. Linear layout. Its width will be match parent and its height will be 50 dp. And its background will be color primary and its margin top I will choose by 50 dp. Okay, and inside this I'll use a text view, simple text view. Uh, wrap content will be the width and wrap content will be its height and I will use some text here and the text will be say I want to display the list of the courses for that I will write the courses option text color I will choose the color accent and layout gravity here will be the center margin left value say 10 dp and uh, text size, I will choose 20. Oops, 20 dB. Fine. So our text is ready. The next thing here is the seminar. So I'll simply call the seminar tag. Its width will be match parent and its height will be match parent itself. And uh, one more thing this seminar starting from this very point, it just next to course, I will. Margin it left to 10 dp. Okay, this is the seminar ready here. You can see it. I can choose the tint color here. I think mm -mm. let's see it later. Okay, and now what should happen? A uh, user should click on this seminar and it should display the list of items. For that thing, I have to go in the Java part. That is, this is this was the designing part that we do in .xml file. And here, uh, it's uh, Java part. We will do in the main activity .java file. Go here. Okay, I have some coding already here. I'll just leave the all. Let's show you from the beginning. Yeah, I needed this by the way, but let's do it again. Okay, so for displaying the list here, either I can use the list view, uh, say that is, uh, I will create a menu here uh, in the value in the, this um, sorry a resource i will just right click and i will create a menu and on that menu i can choose any option menu or text menu whatever i want so but uh, here what i will do is i will simply create a string here string array yeah string and its name will be say my courses and it will contain the list of items that I want to display okay I will choose the first one blank but because I don't want anything to be displayed on just without clicking on the spinner I will choose say CSC Mechanical Electrical Civil NC. Okay, yeah, great. Next thing that we do here is I will make this activity to implement adapter dot on item 
selected listener because I want something should happen when a user will click any of this icon, say CSE course, say mechanical. So I'll choose this one. Okay, it's showing the error. It's basically asking me to implement the methods because it's an interface or it's an abstract method class. So I will implement. Uh, these two methods will be implemented that is on item selected and on nothing selected i'll click ok yeah there is, there is gone ok the the next thing is just choose the id of the seminar id by seminar and yeah, to id.sipinner basically i'm creating a sipinner here and its reference variable and i am just uh, linking or mapping this java sipinner with the sipinner that i have created in my designing part great and I will attach the sipner, uh, the item selected listener to it. Yeah. Okay. Now, next thing is if a user will click on the sipner, what should happen? For that, first I have to initialize the array adapter. Oops. Array adapter. And its reference variable say AA equal to new array adapter and this comma android dot r dot layout okay dot simple List simple sipner item, and I will mention my courses. Okay, what is happening? This array adapter is basically putting the values of the string in my sipner item list then aa dot set drop the resources and i will again choose android dot r dot layout dot simple item drop down item simple sipner drop down item okay okay the last thing is a dot set adapter okay it's not a basically Sipper not adapter. And I'll pass these values here. Yeah. If a user will click any of the button, what should happen? A toast. I'll choose a toast here. You can choose any of the activity. You can make it to move to some next activity. Make text. Create application context. I'll choose text. You have selected. The item I'll choose here simply my okay, let's do it. My courses and uh, position. And then 
those dot length long dot show I think we are done if you want you can just I don't know why is it not taking mm, hopefully yeah let's run it I'm leaving this method as it is, the link, nothing um, currently. I want nothing should be happen when you are not clicking any of the options from the list. Yeah, this is a list. If I will click on say mechanical, you have selected mechanical. Okay, click on CAC. Yeah, I've selected CAC. Can use some space. And yes, I left this one blank because when it's appearing, if I will write the first item something here that will be displayed over here, but I don't want that. Still, I'll check. Say meta largey. I don't know what's. Okay. Read it. You yeah, have selected mechanical. Yeah, it's working. Hope you like this tutorial. See you in the next part. Till then, subscribe my channel for the amazing content. Take care.